Well, here's something you don't see every day. An interior footing for an old foundation. But how did we get here? A hundred years ago, someone built a house using a poured concrete foundation, but they did not put a footing under the walls. It's worked fine in these sandy soils, but this remodeling job called for digging down to extend the headroom in the basement. Theoretically, we can dig at a 45 degree angle away from the bottom of the foundation wall without disrupting the bearing capacity of the soil. Realistically, with sandy soil, it's difficult to dig at a 45 degree angle, so the crew works fast. While they're at it, they dig an interior trench for drain tile. Dimple sheet covers the foundation wall and directs any water into the drainage trench. Some styrofoam insulation is added under where the interior footing curb will be and then gravity defying rebar is placed into place. The concrete is poured. In the real world, you need to build a form and then strip it after the pour. Now we can continue with the styrofoam insulation for the forthcoming slab. The seams are taped with construction tape which will seal against soil gases and allow the slab to cure slower. Before we pour that slab though, let's put down some hydronic tubing for in-floor heat. The tubing sits on top of the insulation, placing the thermal mass above the heat source. The structural slab is poured between the curbs to keep them in place. And that keeps the house from falling into a hole.